Welcome to another episode of MagicReviewed.com. We're doing so good. I've had a lot this whole year. It's uh, today's day 13, I think, of the year. Um, and I've made a video every day. And so far, every product I reviewed this year has been pretty good. Until now. Um, I saved this uh, privilege for very few products uh, and that privilege for the lack of a better word is zero star status I don't do that very often um, but that is what you get here now you look on there you can kind of see some ink these little spots this little red I don't know if you see that can you see that look like little lines on there that's because they I can't erase them. They won't erase. <clears throat> so here's the basic effect. You get a marker. You um, and By the way, don't you love that the name of the product is on the board on both sides? Not smart. Anyway, you get a dry erase marker, and you draw something on this, you know, whatever, one side of the thing here. Uh, and then let's say you draw the ESP symbols, for example. You ask the spectator to name any one or two, however many they want, really, and you erase them with your with the cloth. Okay, you erase them, just the ones they say. But then magically, the ones that they didn't say, you ask the spectator to try to erase them with their finger, and they can't because they now magically are on this side of the board, and you, you reach behind there and you can erase them with your finger. So that's the basic effect. Um, now, this comes with, it says it comes with the gimmick, the board, a pen, and an eraser. I didn't get an eraser with mine, and um, it came with a pen, and I'm going to show you right now this pen. I'm going to draw on this board right in front of you. Here's the pen that comes with it. I'm drawing a circle or something. Can you even see that? Barely, okay? That's now you watch the demo and it's extremely bold and you can see like very boldly the stuff that's drawn on there. So this is not working and if you watch I don't know how well you can see this on a clear thing here but it's clear it's like acting like a pen that's out of ink, right? Well, so I thought okay, I have dry erase markers. Let me run out of space on my desk here. So on my now this I don't ever even heard of this brand. I don't even know. Whiteboard Fine is what it says. I have Expo, you know, that's the most popular brand in the world as far as I know. So I thought, okay, I'll try this. And these work on my board just fine. I use them on my board all the time. So I try drawing on there. And look at this. You can't even see it. Okay? I mean, barely. All right? So now I thought, well, maybe it's you need a darker color. I don't have black, but I do have brown. So I got brown. And again, it's a fresh pen, and uh, you can kind of see that one. See, that one's not too bad, all right? So, again, with light on here, I mean, I'm looking at, depending on the angle I look at it, I can't see it some of the time. You know, it's kind of weird. So it's not very bold. And then, when it came time to erase, this is just some cloth tissue here. Now, look, this is the correct side that I drew on, and it's not erasing very easily. I have to kind of grind on that to get it to a race all right I'm pushing pretty hard okay it's finally erasing but as you can see there's still stains on there I don't know if you can see this uh, well you can see that but there's still traces of it on there so the board is basically stained so uh, here's the other thing though the way the effect works uh, and I'm trying not to expose too much here but the way the effect works you when you have the stuff written on the board and you go to erase the two symbols that they name you're really creating the illusion that you're erasing this side of the board but in reality there's a special gimmick that's allowing the other side of the board to be erased and that's why once you're done erasing they can't actually erase the stuff here because it's not on this side of the board well the gimmick that's um, shown in the video that comes with the product is much bigger than the one I got um, the one, and I, I can't show you the gimmick, unfortunately, because um, I don't I don't want to expose the method on here. Not that it really works anyway. 
But if I could show it to you, you'd be like, well, there's no way that's going to work. And you're right, it doesn't. I tried it out and I could not get this pen or this pen or this pen to erase with the gimmick because the gimmick is so small. So I had a huge problem with that. On top of that, um, I'm, I don't know if the cloth that was supposed to come with it would work better or not. Um, so I, I don't know. So I'm missing pieces of it. Further, if you watch any ad trailer of this effect, you will see that you never see the moment they take the cloth and put it on the board. Because what you really have to do is put the cloth here on the corner, we'll secretly get the gimmick on there, and then drag down and start erasing off. The thing that you've written is down here. The normal thing to do would just be like, okay, erase. But no, you have to put your thing up here, get the gimmick on, which they hear it happen, by the way, drag down here the gimmick, and then come all the way down to the part that you're going to erase and making sure you don't accidentally cross paths with the other stuff you're not trying to erase. You have to leave your cloth on the board though. Then you erase that part and then you have to further drag your cloth off. You can't just take it off. You have to drag it off and they hear something again and you hold on to this. So then, so the, they leave that out in all the trailers. Everywhere I've seen a demo of this, you clearly don't see that because that part is extremely awkward and it just it just looks ridiculous and you can see that something fishy is going on you can hear that something fishy is going on but all that aside the gimmick didn't even work it didn't erase the ink on here uh, and so it's just it's ridiculous oh one other thing um, man I, I wish I could tell you exactly what's going on let's just say that um, there's some polarity involved and um, when you put your thing on here um, sometimes the polarity is wrong and so instead of you latching onto the gimmick the gimmick decides to be stubborn and then it, it won't work properly oh it'll still latch on but it's latched on backwards and uh, you it, then it doesn't even work at all it's impossible for it to work even if I had the bigger gimmick that they show in the trailer in the DVD so I've probably already exposed way too much there, but I don't know how else to explain this to you without, um, you know, the, how bad this is without some exposure in there. I, I could not find anything redeeming about it. I mean, I could say that, well, the effect is pretty clever, but I don't care about effect because effect being clever is not up to me. It's up to whether you like the effect or not. But just as a side note I don't even think the effects clever I don't the clear the effects not even that great of an effect in my opinion but that has nothing to do with my final star rating I could say well this is well made but it's not I mean it's yeah this thing's solid and it's never gonna break and if you need some kind of a clear window for something maybe it's useful but as far as writing on it, I'm, I can still see the stains of the ink that I drew on here as far as writing on it goes it doesn't do what it's supposed to do um, the pen doesn't even work um, the gimmick doesn't work I mean just nothing worked terrible product guys um, and I, I, I apologize if I'm a little um, uh, we'll say passionate about this because you know to, to me I, I'm a human being the guy who created this is a human being I don't like to sit and bash somebody or their neg or their product I don't like to be negative but I think it'd be more negative of me to tell you guys to spend $65 on this and so there's, there's no way I can say something without probably hurting this guy's feelings. And I have none. That is not my intention at all. I'm just saying that I don't see what purpose this would serve that would be worth the $65. If you need a, a clear piece of, piece of plexiglass for something, um, then you can get that at a hardware store for a lot cheaper than $65. And it will do everything that this does because this doesn't do anything. So I know I'm going to ruffle some feathers and I apologize. But one last thing I need to mention, the DVD is, um, A, it's burned, not pressed, which can cause some playback issues. Um, but that aside, it played fine for me. It's French or English. You get to choose. The, the English is, it's still the performer, uh, Julianne Arlandis, um, which I probably said his name wrong. I apologize for that. But it's him speaking in French going through it. 
but there's like a, a translator who's they're voiceovering, which would be fine if they turned down the volume on Julianne Arlandis. Um, so I all I could hear was him speaking in French. I couldn't hear the voiceover guy on a large portion of the video. Some places the um, the the guy's voice was way down, Julian Arlandis, and you could hear the voiceover guy just fine. Other places, you literally could not hear the voiceover guy at all. It was so, I mean, okay, you could hear it, I guess, so it wasn't quite literally, but it was so quiet compared to uh, Julian Arlandis' voice. So you couldn't catch what he was saying, and on top of that, he had an extremely thick French accent, and so what I could hear was very difficult to understand. Uh, now, granted, that just may be a problem with me, but it, there's just so little explained that I, so little that I could hear to even follow along. Luckily, um, I guess this is one positive note, uh, is that the actions of Julian Orlandis showing how things worked were clear enough that he didn't really need the voice over guy too much. Um, but I, I would say that's a positive, except for it's only a positive if the product actually did everything that it was supposed to do, but it doesn't. One other little nitpicky thing, the ad copy says, I mean, for the, I mean the ad copy is accurate as far as it can be accurate, in that there's no switches, there's no, you know, this this thing is examinable, all that stuff's true, but it doesn't really mean much since the effect doesn't work. And it does say no um, special ink. Okay, I, I'm nitpicking a little bit here, but you'll understand why. Dry erase ink is special ink, I would argue. But that aside, the problem is that the ink supplied doesn't work it does I mean this pen did not do what it's supposed to do um, and by the way the demo showed black ink or this is blue and I think black ink might show up better on this I don't know but clearly this pen at least this one erases and the gimmick does erase it even though you can't really see it on the board these however the most popular dry erase markers that I'm aware of Expo brand did not erase which tells me that this ink is probably a little different from this ink, which means that there is some something special about this ink because it works and this doesn't. And I have never seen this brand before. I don't know if it's just something he made or what, or if it's just whiteboard is the name of the brand or what. I don't know. So I don't know where I would get a pen that would actually work. Now, I will say this. If I had a pen that actually would work and um, that didn't leave a residue behind when you drew on it, even though the gimmick is very small, it would erase relatively easily a fine point uh, tip. This is a pretty fine point. Uh, it did erase this okay. Um, but again, this doesn't work. You can't see it on the board. So I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm rambling. I'm done. I'm going to shut up. Sorry, uh, whoever I've offended. Um, oh, and one other thing. Sorry. <laughs> Whenever I have a product this bad, I go and check other reviews. Uh, I've already formulated what I'm going to say in my written review and everything, but I just go out and I'm like, okay, am I just up in the night? Am I just not getting something here? And I'll go look at other reviews, and there have been times where I read the other review and I'm like, oh, okay, I just misunderstood this part or that, you know, and I read that review and it kind of realize, oh, it's not as bad as I thought. I just missed, I just didn't quite get this one thing. So um, I went and read a couple other reviews, and they, they both gave it like a three or three and a half star rating, but I read the written port portion of the review. And everything they're saying, I'm like, I don't see why they're saying that. That's just not how it is. I mean, it's not what... One guy said it does exactly what it says in the ad copy. I'm like, no, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything like that. So it makes me wonder if maybe I just got a bum version of it. But I will say one of the reviews I said, I read, he had a similar problem where they not everything was shipped to him. He didn't get his eraser. He didn't even get the DVD. So... I don't, I don't know what to say. I, I, whatever the case is, I can't base my review on their experience. Uh, the only thing I might take from somebody else's review is if they pointed out something that I missed. But they did not point out anything that I missed in this particular case. And all I can tell you, this thing, it's not even reliable. The gimmick doesn't work 100% of the time. Um, loading it on doesn't even work every time. I mean, on and on and on. Shut up, Jeff. Zero stars, stone status of complete and utter, utter rubble. The end.
like the video, subscribe to my channel, and listen to the Random Night Scene song of the moment, which is... Nothing. How did that happen? Weird. There we go. State of Grace by Taylor Swift. She's been coming up a lot lately. One of these days I'm going to do a study of bands that come up uh, on my reviews and see if there's any kind of just random correlation between artists and the number of stars I give a review. And just, you know, people who study the stock market, they know things like, you know, no matter what, every time the stocks are, are rising, I don't know, I'm, I don't know anything about the stock market, so I'm making stuff up here, but I have a friend that's into this stuff. Every time diapers are going up, you know, also um, coffee cups are going up, you know, there's a, every time. And if coffee, you know, if, if, if bottled water goes down, no matter what, chicken goes up. I have no idea if those correlations are real, but those types of correlations exist. So I have no idea what I'm talking about other than I have a friend who's into this and they find these kinds of correlations and they've got hundreds of, you know, I mean, just years and years of experience, you know, however old the stock market is, they got that much experience or that much data to prove these points. So there may be some weird correlation out there in the universe that every time I have a low rating, this man shows up and every time I have a high rating, this man shows up. I don't know. Now I'm really rambling. This video is like 16 minutes. So I'm going to shut up and you're going to like my channel or subscribe to it and like this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.